Looks like Linlease and Google is canceling this development. Now, this cancellation has been around for the past few months, but in the most recent months of the whole Linlease and Google fiasco is they're completely done. It's like basically confirmed there's gonna be zero projects. Initially, Google thought about spending 15 whopping billion dollars in the San Francisco Bay Area for numerous different projects from retail to residential to massive office complexes. This is gonna give the Bay Area like a huge boost. $15 billion for construction is nothing to sneeze at, guys. We're looking at enormous campuses, whole entire cities being transformed. But the reason why Google has ended this development now officially is because why would you ever spend 15 billion when you could just buy a bunch of foreclosed offices? So Lindlease and Google, they started off discussing about this project and Lindlease backed this contract from Google in 2019. Everyone was hyped up because it will bring 15,000 new housing units and also this enormous brand new campus in Mountain View, California. There's also gonna be another campus in San Jose. So it's gonna revive a lot of like really sleepy neighborhoods. San Jose has always been kind of dead, so it's gonna revive that place as well. But then guess what happened after 2019? The pandemic hits and then everyone's working on online. And then for some reason, like when everyone started coming back in 21 and 22, they started noticing that the Bay Area really deteriorated with a bunch of stores closed, homelessness everywhere, and crime is running rampant. It's worse than ever before, which is causing many tech companies to simply leave and hundreds of foreclosed office buildings. So this project is never gonna come into light. Google has officially just canceled this. They've been working for this for several years and already spent millions of dollars on architects, planning, etc. I mean, this is like one of those massive projects that companies do once in every several decades. And they were supposed to make this humongous campus. They're supposed to make new campuses in San Jose, new office towers and different zip codes, but it's all gone. Now, Lindley's has also recently canceled another project. This is a massive $1.2 billion San Francisco skyscraper, almost 50 stories tall. And the reason why they closed it was why would you ever build this when you could literally buy this blue building back behind the crane for a foreclosed price? Because this blue building right here, rumors are they might foreclose because they haven't been paying their bills. There's not enough tenants. And this is what's happening in San Francisco. Why in the world would investors spend $1.2 billion on a brand new building or a brand new skyscraper when they could buy foreclosed units and towers for literal pennies on the dollar? We're talking about negative 70, 80, even negative 90% off. If you've been following this channel, you probably have seen some of the San Francisco skyscraper prices literally being dirt cheap, cheaper than some Amazon Black Friday deal. And then check this out, downtown San Jose office vacancies are hitting a 10 year high. Now San Jose has never really done so well. And I think San Jose was really banking on the fact that Google will start this construction project. Because if they do start it, they're moping this massive campus adjacent to San Jose, which will boost the economy of San Jose. But of course, Google cancel the project and there's even a bunch of tech companies trying to shift their workers out of California in general. And check this out, empty storefronts of downtown San Francisco is skyrocketing. People are saying that the vacancy rate report is 37%, but everyone doesn't believe that. It's like way higher than this. There's also a lot of people saying it doesn't calculate in the zombie vacancy rates which are offices that are leased out, but there's no companies in it because the companies have already left. So people are saying at the end of the year, it could be seeing vacancies as high as 42, 43, even 50% because people are just simply leaving San Francisco. This is just a very undesirable place to be. Even Blaze Pizza has moved the headquarters from California to Atlanta just so they could expand more and get out of the place where they're paying hefty taxes. This is the California for you guys where crime rate is so high, even the in and out starts closing down. These are all not good signs, and you would think that the city will do something about it, but there's little to nothing that's being done. The city doesn't really care that big corporations are leaving. You would think something as big as the Google and Lindley's program falling apart, you would think that the city will actually start thinking, hold on a second, maybe we're doing something wrong here. Maybe we should clean up the crime, clean up the homelessness. Because the moment when San Francisco cleans everything up, I guarantee you $100 that every single tech company is moving back to San Francisco in the Bay Area, but they just refuse to do so. This is why everyone is going to other states like Nevada, Texas, and Florida, where they actually care about the businesses, care about the people, and they care about the city's cleanliness. 
So right now this project is done. It's really sad. A lot of Bay Area residents were looking forward to this project. It's gonna bring a lot of jobs, a lot of affordable housing, and of course, massive campus construction projects which will revive many cities like, for example, San Jose, which is really dead, but it's over now. 